Charlotte Perkins Gilman was a distinguished American feminist and novelist at the turn of the 20th century. The Yellow Wallpaper was first published in 1892 in the New England Magazine and was received with great praise, beginning a conversation about the modern woman's role in society and the home. Gilman drew upon her personal experiences to write this story, focusing on gender roles and the lack of independence that women had at this time. In the yellow wallpaper, the narrator's husband John represents the gender roles that were commonly held during the early part of the 20th century. Quoted from the text when John and his wife were discussing her illness, he said, My darling, I beg of you, for my sake and for our child's sake, as well as for your own, that you will never for one instant let that idea enter your mind. There is nothing so dangerous, so fascinating, to a temperament like yours. It is a false and foolish fancy. Can you not trust me as a physician when I tell you so? John uses his authority as both a husband and a successful physician to control his wife's treatment for her depression, strictly enforcing the rest cure developed by Dr. S. Weir Mitchell. Author Alan Lloyd Smith explains that the domestic Gothic is seen here in the difference of household roles between John and his wife. Asha Nadkarni and Rula Kwawis both opened their respective journal articles with a description about the patriarchal society that characterized the beginning of the 20th century. They go on to explain that Gilman was one of the earliest female authors actively seeking a change in women's roles. Gilman's views of feminism were quite progressive for her time, sparking an important conversation that continues to this day. The Yellow Wallpaper was republished in the 1970s at the height of the feminist movement receiving praise once more in an era quite modern as compared to the original publication date of The Yellow Wallpaper.